All right, today we're going to be looking at the 4XML path, and this will be three different formats. This is how to output XML data in different formats. So these are the three most popular formats when we're dealing with XML as when we query data and we want it returned as XML. So the first format that is by far the most popular is just the standard 4XML path. We're not specifying uh, any node here. We're just simply straightforward outputting it. So we see, for the record, all of you uh, can do this uh, on your uh, what is it on your database and, and you'll get a similar result where you'll see the name of the table and is it shipped and that's what you'll see this can be very useful is this is the data format that you want this is not the most popular data format uh, that i tend to use but it is one of the more popular ones uh, involving 4xml path another one of course is if we want those values so when we look over here if we want them to be wrapped in the table node so we see when we put in the table node here what happens is we have this table and then we have these values and then we have uh, that closed node table and then we have a new one and then so on and so forth okay the only problem with this and as some of you probably know is that this um, this may not be how we want it. We may want a, the open table bracket and the closed table bracket in all of the, let's say, names and MS uh, shipped in it. So, of course, it depends as well. And so that, of course, leads us to the next one. So this one is by far the most popular one that I use. So we're using the same one as the 4XML path. We're not specifying anything here, but we are declaring the root here. So we're saying the root of all these XML values is going to be table. So this returns uh, the name and then, of course, is MS shipped. And this, these would be all the tables. And so, uh, so I could do this with, for instance, procedures, so on and so forth, if that's what I'm determining in the application. So when it comes to XML or 4XML path, I should say, these are more than likely the most popular ones that I tend to use. Um, this one being by far the most popular where I am, I'm going to specify 4XML path, but I'm going to declare a root above it.